prefer to do it from a transcript just for, uh, even for time. First thing I do is I start looking for keywords. You know, what topics did he talk about? And so I search for the word vaccine. Not mentioned. Trump had a one-hour speech. And the guy who has said so many times, he's the father of the vaccine. It's the best thing. It's a miracle. It's a scientific miracle, a moonshot, the rest of this stuff. Greatest thing anybody's ever done in medical history. The vaccine that he produced. He is the father of the vaccine, he said. He didn't mention it. He also, I searched for the term warp. He didn't talk about warp speed. He didn't talk about it at all. He didn't mention Fauci. <clears throat> didn't mention Fauci once. Didn't blame him as he did towards uh, the end. Didn't uh, cheer him as he did in the beginning. He didn't use the term shot, except in a different sense, once. He didn't use the term jab. Nothing about hospitals. Nothing about ventilators. Nothing about masks. Trump said nothing about social, except referring to a couple of socialists twice. But he didn't say anything about social. He didn't say anything about distance or distancing. Nothing about lock or lockdown. Nothing about stimulus. Nothing about mail, as in vote by mail. Except to bring up yet again Hillary Clinton and her emails. He only mentioned the term gun once. He said, uh, in that context, he said, there are gang members, MS-13, that will kill and they use knives because a knife is much more painful than a gun. That's the only time he mentioned a gun. Didn't mention the Second Amendment, gun rights. He didn't use the word trans in any form, way, shape, or form. He did talk about parental rights being under attack. He didn't say anything about electricity or electric or car or anything like that. He did mention supply chains. This is what he said about supply chains. He said, that's why we will launch an all-out campaign to eliminate America's dependence on China. We will bring our supply chains, which are a disaster right now. You can't get anything, and good luck getting a turkey for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. Number one, you will get it, and if you do, you're going to pay three to four times more than you paid last year. But we will bring our supply chains and our manufacturing base back home as we were strongly doing during the Trump administration. So we're going to fix the supply chain thing. It seems to me, though, that the supply chains got messed up right after his executive order, which he also doesn't want to talk about, of the emergency. Right after his executive order of the state of emergency, I was... I spent a great deal of time on iPencil because we had a situation where people were destroying food <clears throat> at the farm and at the dairy, but we had empty shelves, just like we did with toilet paper, because they couldn't get it to people in the format that it could be put in the stores and sold to them in retail format. And so all that food that these people were hooked into the supply chain for uh, restaurants and things like that, and the restaurants were closed. Because Trump and his director, Fauci, directing the pandemic, this movie, this dystopian film for us, Trump was a producer, Fauci was the director, and in their dystopian film, you had to shut down everything, all these restaurants. Uh, they'd let you go get groceries at the grocery store, but you know the grocery store didn't have enough of those. And you can't just uh, send the food in. It's kind of like um, you know, the difference between uh, metric and English tools or wrenches that just didn't fit. He didn't have the right way to get the stuff there. But it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault at all. That stuff had been going on, that dumpster fire had been going on for a year before Biden even got in and then poured our gasoline on the dumpster fire. 